Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to have a look at one of the original tanks in the game. One of the original premium tanks, and that, of course, is the T-34. Of course, you've got two T-34s. One of them is the, the standard T-34 that you used to be able to buy in the tech tree, and the other, of course, is the T-34 Independent. So this tank... Once upon a time, it, there was nothing really special uh, about the tank, but then Wargaming buffed it, and they actually made it one of the strongest premium tanks in the game. Nowadays, obviously, it's not as strong because there are so many other strong tanks out there, but it is still a force to be reckoned with. And Wargaming buffed it. Wargaming has just buffed the armor profile a little bit more. Now, the turret on this thing is absolutely amazing when you put it in the right situation. Of course, it has just received another little buff. So, what is the tank like? Now, the penetration is very, very good. The turret, as you can see, 270. 79 millimeters thick is an extremely extremely strong turret but not a lot of people i mean they talk about the the front of the turret but i mean even the rear 203 millimeters from the rear uh yeah it's uh, an extremely strong turret and it's a tough turret to get through um however the whole of the tank is not so strong at just 106 so this tank is all about hiding the whole armor of this thing so the damage per minute is 200 uh, 2036 that's an 11.8 second reload penetration is 248 on your ap and 297 on your apcr so your apcr will go through just about anything um you've got a 400 alpha gun 340 on your APCR and 515 on your HE. Aim time not so good at 5.5. However, the gun dispersion is is okay at 0.317. It has a very very nice 10 degrees of gun depression to go with that turret, and the top speed is 35 kilometers per hour. Um, nowadays, it comes for sale fairly cheap. I mean, round about 5k, 5.5k gold, which is acceptable uh, for this kind of tank um and I, I to be honest like I, I know we see power creep we always talk about power creep etc etc um but I, honestly i would love to see this tank a bit more it used to be like this tank the is6 and the lerva that were the three premium tanks to go to in tier 8 but of course nowadays it's not like that i know we have to move on from the past uh, the past is behind us but it is still or it was still a fantastic tank to play back in the day um but again it still is a fantastic uh, tank to play now as long as you play it to extremes if you play it in the open then of course you are not going to do too well yes you're probably going to penetrate pretty much everything you're, that comes your way but if you are not in a hold down position and you're going to see that here against this type 62 dragon yes a type 62 dragon which is just a tier 7 uh, light tank that doesn't have the best the pen unless he is using uh unless he's using heat which he actually he then has very very good pen um but we lost a little bit of hit points and you can see like he's dealing with us very very easy i know if he's shooting heat uh he's gonna get through just about anything that comes his way anyway um but yeah i mean we've bounced one shot from this guy just one shot yes he's uh we've we've managed to pretty much kill him but yeah just one shot against that guy which isn't very good at all but yet yeah, if you was in a hold down position then you will not get penned you will not get penned at all so at the moment i am pushing towards this third and obviously it's kind of scared me a little bit as soon as he starts turning his gun which is why i sort of just suddenly jolted to the right there um but now i do have the backup of my team i could get the shots out no problem whatsoever um now of course because it has the three uh, the 400 alpha gun uh, you do often low roll you do often low roll like below sometimes uh, even below 350 ish uh, which isn't great for a, a heavy tank um especially a heavy tank with dpm i mean the dpm's not 
like really bad it's kind of average um, but yeah you really have to play this tank to its advantages if you play in the open it has an extremely big turret so yes the turret is actually really really strong but if you're in the open and you're not hold down just showing little bits of your the top of your turret then you're going to get penned again the same there with the uh, the su 130 pm he penetrated us very very easily and again he's we, he will be able to penetrate us unless we are in that hold down position now if you are in that hold down position it does have a hatch on top that you have to be very very careful about um but you know we we had a decent game i mean 3k damage no problem whatsoever and now nowadays 3k in a, in a tier 8 tank is okay it's not bad at all uh not enough for an ace but it's a, it's a nice little credit earner as well i mean if you do the damage you can earn the uh, credits so uh, nearly a hundred thousand credits earned for that game um but yeah i'd love to see these kind of tanks like i know wargaming have buffed it a little bit but I'd love to see um, Wargaming sort of change it up. You know, they are rebalancing. They, they are, they're talking about all the rebalancing that they are, that they're going to do. You know, they've already rebalanced certain tiers and certain tanks. Um, but I'd love for Wargaming to focus on the old tanks. You know, the tanks that once were a thing that nowadays are not really anything even though they still they are still good tanks but just nobody wants to play them even if they are good tanks nobody wants to play them because there are better tanks out there better tanks that can do better things than things like the IS-6 the Lerva and the T-34 those were the three sort of original heavies uh, and once upon a time pretty much the only heavies um, as, a, as premium tanks uh, but nowadays especially the independence like this tank you, you very rarely see there is really no difference between the t-34 and the t-34 independence it's all about the the looks and of course this is or used to be at least a lot rarer than the usual t-34 you used to only be able to get this certain times obviously of the year july 4th etc um so it doesn't really come for sale that often but if it does come for sale and you haven't actually got a t-30 uh, sorry a t-34 then of course it definitely is worth uh, being in your garage i mean if you've played things like uh, the t-30 or the t-29 then you'll probably be used to, to playing something like the t-34 uh, it is a decent tank it, again it's it's got very, very good pen, but you have to, and I can't stress enough, you have to play it to its advantages, and that is hold down. Now, of course, this game, uh, my good friend Duck, he is uh, he can't really play in a hold down position if all the tanks have gone left. So he's just side, side, side scraping a little bit, and uh, he's obviously not wasted any hit points. He's still, wow, nice shot unlucky tiger uh that's going to help him for his uh, damage no doubt but yeah that's the kind of thing i mean unless you don't aim you, you should pen anything that comes your way whether it be a tier 8 or tier 9 uh you should pretty much penetrate anything that comes your way yes you may have to switch to the premium uh rounds but you know it, premium rounds are there for a reason and you have to take advantage of that they're there for a reason use it if you have to don't just spam it for an easy pen because you've got to remember if you're going to spam the heat in this thing or the premium round uh, apologize then you're going to do less alpha and your dpm dramatically decreases so even here look this guy has very very troll armor but we can pen it like butter you can go through that wz120 like absolute butter and that is exactly what he has done so duck now has got three a thousand four hundred damage they are all pretty much one shots yes he's going to take a hit there uh, but it was definitely worth it to take out that guy and just one tank left alive is this skoda t56 golem so uh, definitely worth getting if you're able to get your hands on a T-34, when they do come for sale, nor the normal T-34 at least does come for sale for fairly cheap. And the T-34 Independence, obviously it looks great. It's all about America. Uh, July 4th, Independence Day. If obviously that time of year, this tank always comes for sale. But yeah, it's, I would love for Wargaming to do something more with these tanks. You know, the IS-6, this, the Lerva, just make them better. They are still good, but 
obviously they're not appealing to these uh, these newer players. The newer players are out there buying tanks that are extre either extremely overpowered or the newer tier 8s. They're not looking at the older tier 8s, which uh, I think deserve a bit of a love. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meezy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.